When you're a small child and fighting for your life, you need all the help you can get. And help for some kids is coming from a place many people might not expect. A mild-mannered mom using a needle and thread to give sick kids super strength. Mike Bush talks about her and her mission to help the little ones. When you're faster than a speeding bullet, it's hard to keep up. Uh-oh. Mere mortals uh -oh. just don't have this much energy. Kennedy just exudes joy. Disguised as four-year-old Kennedy Meyerhoff, she fights a never-ending battle to stay healthy. Kennedy was born with Down syndrome, and um, there are many issues that that uh, can often uh, bring with it. Go! Leaping tall buildings in a single bound seems an easy challenge compared to three and a half months in the NICU with a heart defect and neonatal leukemia, especially from a first-time mom's point of view. I've got this newborn baby that I can't even hold. But kids like Kennedy are finding the superpowers they need to fight illness, thanks in part to a Missouri woman and her sewing machine. Robin Rosenberger runs her own Justice League of sorts, an organization called Tiny Superheroes. For the last two and a half years, she's been making superhero capes for children facing disabilities and illness. One of my desires with it is that when somebody sees a child with a disability, that they don't see the differences, they see their superhero powers. It all began after she made a cape for her nephew's second birthday. Now, from her not-so-secret lair, the basement of her home, she has stitched together a legion of tiny superheroes. From Super Sophia, to Super Leo, to Super Nyla. Truly, I have thousands of pictures of kids in capes. The cape on. Kennedy puts hers on every time she visits Mercy Children's Hospital. She was so excited. She was beaming, and she just, it made her feel like... I can do this. It may look like the work of needle and thread, but these capes are made with kindness and compassion. I hope that when they when they put the cape on, that they feel taller. You know, like emotionally taller. Go, 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 come on, go, 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 It looks like it's working. Yeah. The tiny superhero capes are in every state in 16 countries, about 6,000 so far. When people buy one, another one is donated to a child in need.